Spanning four river basins, three megacities, and six provinces, this mega water project is one of the biggest engineering projects in history. And in this video, we tell you everything you need to know about it. Just for context, China is one of the largest countries in the world and home to one-fifth of the world's population, holding the covetous status of a global superpower. It seems there is still one watery glitch in the plan. Sadly, China is blessed with only 7% of the world's freshwater sources. And over the centuries, the country's natural geography has given way to, well, a rather lopsided picture of development. Remember, most big cities like Beijing and Tianjin are situated in China's dry north, but all the water is in the south. Which means, with more than 600 million people working or living in the north, the demand for water to support industries, farms, and homes has now led to a raging water crisis in the country's northern plains. With groundwater supplies falling by the day, did you know Beijing is one of the most water-scarce cities in the world? According to one recent report, the city needs a whopping 3.6 billion cubic meters of water to get by, and fresh water is only able to provide 3 billion, which means the remaining 0.6 billion is made up for by groundwater. In fact, as of now, groundwater is actually the main source of water, with two-thirds of local water pumped off the soil. Given that, it's no surprise that the mean groundwater depth since the early 2000s has pretty much been on the down low. With water levels declining at a rate of 0.7 meters per year, the country's lifeline of river systems is simply unable to keep up with the increasing demands of its population. It is this desperation for fresh water that has triggered the biggest water transfer project in the country's history. Expected to cost a staggering $62 billion, China's north to south water diversion is the largest project of its kind. Drawing water from the southern rivers and supplying it to the dry, arid north, this is one of the most ambitious and expensive water projects in history. Launched in 2002, the project is designed to move 12 trillion gallons of water along its long, mighty stretch. Once complete, this massive diversion will link the four main rivers of the country, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huaihe, and Haihe. Built along three separate diversion routes, going south to north across the eastern, central, and western parts of the country, now being touted as the biggest interbasin transfer scheme ever, the project will deliver 25 billion cubic meters of fresh water every year, all the way from the Yangtze River Basin in the south to the Yellow River Basin in the north. As part of this mega project, new artificial canals, aqueducts, and tunnels are being built, with the final diversion route stretching for up to 1,115 kilometers dotted with 23 pumping stations carrying an installed capacity of 453.7 megawatts to help push the water along these new artificial routes. But hey, if you thought this massive diversion was just a sudden eureka moment for the Chinese government, you might want to think again. First proposed back in 1952, the idea has been a government fantasy for decades. And after years of extensive research and planning, it wasn't until 2002, about 50 years since the idea was first formally pitched in official circles, that a formal plan was approved by the state council, and work finally began. And just 12 years later, the middle route of the project was up and running, taking water from the Denjiangko Reservoir in the central province of Hubei before reaching Beijing and Tianjin. Yet it is the project's so-called western route that has proven to be the hardest to get around. Still in planning stage, the western route is hampered by severe geographical and climactic challenges of the harsh Tibetan terrain. By 2030, the project is expected to supply 45 trillion gallons of water, benefiting hundreds of millions of people in the country. In fact, according to the company leading the project, the diversion has already transferred more than 60 billion cubic meters of water to the drought-prone north. Remember, Ever since ancient times, the ruling dynasties of China have long known the important role of water in ensuring the region's prosperity. Fast forward to modern times, the politics of water is still a part of the national discourse. The raging water crisis in Beijing is a major wake-up call for the government. Costing two times more than the country's last big water project, the Three Gorges Dam, is this new $62 billion venture all good news. Well, for the millions of Chinese residents forced to leave their homes and resettle in new communities, probably not. In fact, 
Did you know more than 1.3 million people were moved so the government could build the highly controversial Three Gorges Dam? Which means for a project like this, the number of displaced people could be a lot higher. An estimated 330,000 people have already been relocated for the expansion of the Danjianko Reservoir, not to mention the large-scale loss of ancient sites and arable land, leading many to question the desirability of such a massive water diversion in the first place. Is China taking the easy way out, or are the hands of the government tied in the face of severe water shortages? What do you think? Should the Chinese government rather invest in water conservation efforts instead of devising new concrete solutions with dubious environmental impact? In fact, did you know the government has launched 260 environmental projects as part of the diversion to help control pollution and ensure the quality of the diverted water, costing an extra $2 billion to the national treasury? But hey, even with all these eco-friendly measures, the project poses considerable environmental risk. Remember, by changing the natural course of river water, you can tip entire ecosystems off their natural balance, as plants are destroyed and animals are forced to move out of their habitats. And that's not even the biggest challenge at hand. According to a number of seismologists, the new construction also runs the risk of being affected by earthquakes in the future, as the area covered by the project is particularly prone to the movement of tectonic plates, leading many to wonder if the project is as viable as the government will have you believe. That said, given China's staggeringly low per capita availability of water, it's unlikely that the Chinese government will forsake its ambitious plan to change the course of the great rivers that have been the lifeline of this mighty civilization since ancient times.